Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House, and today we're going to make another My Little Pony custom. Previously, I made Isabella from the movie Encanto. I thought she turned out really great, and I just love these ponies with the rerouted hair. So today, I thought we would make another character from Encanto. So here is Pinkie Pie. Who do you think we're going to transform her into? Well, if you guessed Maribel, then you're correct. We're going to turn Pinkie Pie into Maribel. And the reason why I picked Pinkie Pie is because she's an earth pony with no magic. She has curly hair and has a very bright and positive attitude. So I think Pinkie Pie would be a good fit for Maribel. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So as always with these customs, the first thing we're going to do is cut off the mane and tail. Just like Isabella, we're going to reroute her hair. We're going to cut her hair as close to the scalp as possible. Here goes the tail. And look at all that hair. Next, we're going to pull off her head. There it is. Here's the tail stub. Now we're going to pull out the rest of the hair from the inside. So what we need is to clear these holes. So we can put new hair in. I'm just taking a screwdriver right now and just pushing the glue away from the edges of the head. This method actually removes a lot of the hair because they're clumped together in the back. With my tool here, I'm going to enlarge the holes. The holes on the pony right now are very, very small and I want to make them a little bit bigger so that we can put larger chunks of hair in. This is just a needle tool. I'm just going to push it in and it will enlarge the hole. Here, I've gone ahead and put the head back onto the body. Then, we're going to use some acetone and remove her cutie mark and eyes. Alright, so the hair is gone, the paint is gone. Let's go ahead and start our repaint. I have Pinkie Pie here on a little pole and we are going to paint the entire pony a brown color. And we're going to give it a few coats so that it's nice and solid and the pink is completely covered. Here's the first coat and I've also drawn in the eyes. Now let's give it another coat. Here is the pony. We are ready for the hair. Here's the hair that we're going to be using for Maribel. This is curly coca, 10 millimeters. So the hair looks like this. It's really pretty. So it's a dark brown color and it is curled. To do the hair, let's go ahead and take off the head again. Taking the hair, we're going to cut it in half. And now with my re-rooting tool, we're going to hook a bit of hair on the end of the needle and then push it through the hole in the head. When I pull out and remove the needle, the hair is left inside. And then on to the next strand. We're going to do this until all the holes are filled with hair. This can take a long time. However, with practice, it does go faster. Here, we're about halfway done. Now we are down to the end. So the hair is done. That is a lot of hair. What do you think? I think it looks really good. The hair right now is still loosely inserted in the holes. To secure it, we're going to use glue. Here I'm squeezing in a generous amount of glue into the head. With a stick, I'm going to spread it around to make sure every strand is covered. Alright, so now the glue has dried and the hair is secure. Some parts are a bit long, so we're going to have to trim it. But let's move on to the dress. Today, we're going to use Super Sculpey Ultra Light. This is my first time using this type of clay. The clay that I usually use is much heavier and makes the pony really heavy. And they sometimes crack. So hopefully this clay is better. Here we are rolling out a flat piece of clay. 
And then we're going to cut out one end with a wavy cutter. This will be the bottom of the dress. We're going to take this piece and build out the skirt. Taking smaller pieces, we're going to build out the shirt. Here is the final result. The clay is very light and easy to use. However, it doesn't blend that well. The regular version is better. You can see some of the seams where I couldn't blend it out. Now we're going to cure the clay with a heat gun. Let's also make a pair of glasses for Maribel. Next, let's finish painting. Starting with the eyes, we're going to paint the whites of the eye. Here we're painting the irises brown. Now with black, we'll line the eyes. The top line is going to be a little bit thicker for the lashes. Add in the black pupils. and two reflective white dots. As a finishing touch, we're going to add some freckles. For the outfit, we're going to use Aqua, Teal Sea, and Blue Harbor. Starting with aqua, we're going to paint the top part of the skirt with a sponge brush. The sponge will give it some texture. Next, we're going to blend it in with a bit of teal sea. And finally, on the bottom is the Blue Harbor. Here, we're painting the shirt white. For Mirabelle's shoes, we're going to use Fuchsia. And for her glasses, we're going to use Apple Tart Green. Now let's seal the paint. Here I'm using Mod Podge Ultra. This is a spray on. I'm going to spray all around the pony and making sure that she is fully covered. And then with a the paintbrush, we're going to even it out. I'm sealing the paint so that the next layer of colors will stand out better. Once the Mod Podge has dried, we can add the details of the dress. We're going to start with the black to line the edge of her collar.
and then add some butterflies. Now we're going to add some whimsical designs of butterflies and flowers in various bright colors. Now that the dress is done, we're going to attach her glasses. And finally the hair. We're going to brush it out, arrange it, and trim the ends. Alright everyone, and we are done. Are you ready? So here is Maribel. Our Mirabelle pony is done! Oh my goodness, look at her! So here is an up-close look at her face. She has these big brown eyes. She's wearing these round glasses that are bright green. Her hair is dark brown, short, and curly. I just love the way the hair turned out. It looks really, really good. Here is her dress. Her top is white with a lot of whimsical designs on it like butterflies and flowers. And her dress has a gradient of colors starting with teal, going into turquoise, and some purple. On her feet, she's wearing magenta shoes. So, what do you think? Now we have two of the three sisters. So we have Mirabelle here and of course we also have Isabella. If you have not checked out Isabella yet, make sure to do so right now. So if you want to see Luisa next, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye!